So the chains of right or wrong are really created by man. Yes. Because we're sounds like much freer than we ever possibly imagined. Indeed. To be able to come back many, many times. Absolutely. So the fear of this passing or the moment of departing while there is all the, the density of loss of friends and loved ones, there are the beginnings of all these en well, enormous and grand moments that are, if you so choose, start all over again. Absolutely. Okay. It is not a demise moment. Death is not a demise. Death is merely moving on from a body that has either been damaged or has run out of gas, so to speak. Sure. And you, your energy, your consciousness, moves on from that body. It doesn't lament the body. Right. It says, all right, that experience, we've understood it, we appreciate it, we honor it. Nice suit, I better get a new one. But we are moving on to another experience. And we may stay in the nonlinear for a while, or we may decide to go right back in and reincarnate again. Okay. So let's talk about coming right back in because you've, you've taught us that we can, as we advance, we can then, we start to say, well, I'd like to repeat this experience and let's work. I want to do some work or experiences in this area of life, whatever that may be, professional football player, an ice skater, a writer, an artist, whatever that experience may be. And have those experiences and they're, they're grand and they're wonderful and they expand the universe. Yes. And it's as simple and as beautiful as that. Yes. So when I decide to come in to experience those things, if I'm going to be a grand artist or an NFL football player or whatever it may be, a pilot, whatever the experience may be, how do I set myself up as an energy to come into this life? There are parents. I've always been taught I, I had no choice my parents. Yes, you do. I do. Let us say, just for example's sake, you have an agenda of acceptance. You wish to be accepted. Okay. And you, when you're first cast, and your baby soul, you can move in very quickly to the experience without a lot of forethought because you're not really sure what you're doing. You just sort of jump into it. But then as you become more advanced and you have experience in the linear, you say, well, yes. wait a minute. I really have never addressed my desire to understand acceptance. Okay. I never really did that. I mean, I've jumped into this and I've jumped into that. but I've So I'm going to take a moment of pause. I'm going to think about it and say, what would really serve my agenda of acceptance? What, what experiences can be created that will actually address that and I can evolve into another level of existence? So you suddenly realize in that thought process, perhaps I should pick parents who can offer me an opportunity to look at acceptance, maybe from both angles, and I will perhaps think about it and take a look at what's available instead of just jumping in. So you're implying that as I am in non-physical, getting ready to come in and do some you do a life little experiences. Research. Yes, you do a little research. I'm out basically shopping for the right energies to come into their biological formation, which would be the uh, child. Shopping is a very linear term, All but right. yes, that would be... I like shopping. Well, it's, it's an opportunity to find the appropriate experience that could be manifested ahead of time. And would DNA selection, I mean, you know, the physical attributes, if I'm an artist, I may not need to be the size of a football player or, you know, yes. the skills you, of a pilot. All those things are taken into consideration. And so I am, as an energy, able to choose those things? Yes. And Quite the different. more practice you have at it, yes. the better it becomes, and the more advancing the experience can be. So, first time you may pick someone that you think, well, this father, this mother look like yes. they need to acceptance. You get there, it doesn't quite work out so right because of their 
participation or your participation. So the next time you come back around into it, you say, well, this time I'm going to be a little bit more picky. I'm going to take a really good look at the energy. So because last time I got a little bit out of it, but I didn't get enough to satisfy me. Okay. I, want, I need to have more satisfaction in this. So right. perhaps you'll be a little bit more disconcerting on what you pick for parents. Okay. So what you're te teaching us today is that there are a multitude of experiences that we decide as souls and energies coming into this life or coming into a given point in time in life to experience, to expand all that is, the greater universe. And that it can be a very grand, what we would perceive as a very grand, into a, if you will, a rich, dynamic, powerful family or on a garbage pile in a ghetto. Those are all experiences that expand yes. and help the universe expand. Yes. So you are the universe is that. not, you're telling us that the, or today is that the universe is not contracting, but in fact, through every one of these experiences, constantly expanding. Absolutely. And we say that those who say Which are means contracting it's infinite. Absolutely. are looking at it from a very small viewpoint. Like a snapshot. Yes. Now, if we were to take a snapshot of this room, we really couldn't tell what was over here. Really couldn't tell what was over there. Couldn't tell, you know, if there was a doorway over here. You take say, here's the picture. This is the room. Right. And you say, well, it has a sofa. It has a window. It has a what? Is there a door to get out? And you say, well, I took a picture of the whole room. You say, well, where's the door to get out? So to take a snapshot of something is never as accurate as actually living through it, or say we take it a movie of it, we take the whole viewpoint. Right. And saying that the universe is, well, there's some camps today that think the universe has maybe done its, at the end of its expansion is going to contract and implode, no. and then re-explode again. No. That's constant expansion. Yes. If every one of what we're talking about today, every one of those experiences. Well, they are theorizing. They all have their theories. Yes. Linear theories, by the way. So free will plays into this every time. We have the choices to choose. We have the ability to choose whatever it is we want to do when we come physical. Yes. For a purely experience in both this planet or other places, times, and dimensions. Yes. Picking our parents, our DNA, all these things yes. before we arrive. Absolutely. That kind of makes passing a hiccup. Indeed. Uh, right? Indeed. Now, it can be impactful for those who are, quote, left behind, especially in certain belief systems. Right. But we say, hmm. If you look at it clearly, and you look at it from a very universal point of view, it's not all that devastating. Okay. 